Hello and welcome fellow bookworms and film fans. Welcome to this week's episode of The Contented Narrative. We will be looking at The Whitby Witches. Now this is a book review and this book, oh this book, I've had it for absolute donks. Like I honestly can't even remember where I got it um, or how I came across it but I just, I just remember having it. Um, and basically it's about two children who unfortunately are orphans. Um, and they end up in the lovely little seaside town of Whitby, which is where I actually went for my honeymoon with my husband. Um, and it is just such a, oh, honestly, it's just picturesque and it's perfect. Um, and visiting it during the day and at night as well, like going for like midnight walks around Whitby is just beautiful. It's just honestly, it's fantastic. Um, but this book is just fantastic. So they go to stay with an eccentric older woman who's 92 years old, named of Alice Boston, um, in Whitby. And it is just pure genius. Like, honestly, just pure genius, the whole book. Because it's sort of like, Ben has this ability. So Ben's the boy and Jeanette's the girl. Ben has this ability to sort of like see dead people. Like, not in a kind of sixth sense kind of way, like, I see dead people. But like he sees and, and, and you know dead, dead people but he also sees like these little creatures and I can't remember what they're called um they're just called the mysterious fisher folk of Whitby and he can see them um so you've got like these two stories interacting um of like Alice who's you know who's looking after them who actually does turn out to be a witch um and then you've got like these fisher folk that that you know that Ben's looking after and, and looking for and the, the fisher folk um, are like little, little creatures and, you know, they're forbidden to talk to humans at all. You know how it goes, like, in borrowers and all of that, they're forbidden, whatever, to talk to humans. Um, and it's just, it's so, it's so lovely because as well as look at, like, as well as a well-written story um, and as well as just, just purely enjoying it um, and it's got, like, layers to it that you, that you don't even think, like, it is, like, I think it's like a young adult book um, and it's just got layers and it's like Ben and Jeanette are trying to, to, to fit in and like Jeanette's trying to look after Ben and try not to you know get any of these weird stuff but she's trying to look after him because she knows that that's you know that he does come across this weird stuff and, and you know and it's not his fault um, and Alice is trying to like realise that you know she's trying to look after these two kids um, even though she's quite old but she's quite sprightly but it's just beautiful because you see how they kind of like they're scared like the kids are scared of making a connection because they've been moved on so many times because weird things keep happening to men um and so Jeanette is like trying to look after Ben and be like no I'm sorry Alice or whatever this is not happening like we're not we're not buddy buddy you know you're not our mom you're not our grandma but like there's this undercurrent of another story that's just like viciousness and and but it's not it's not horrific it's like you know myths and legends and there are witches and there's there's murders and there's that nice big black dog as well and it's it's just it's like an adventure story meets like a ghost story meets like a like an acceptance story and it's just so well written and well interweaved um that you don't feel like you're reading like three different stories in one um and honestly i can go back to this book so many times um and like now that i've been whitby several times i can imagine where they're talking as well so when they're saying that at certain points i'm like ah i know that i like the 199 steps like i love the 199 steps and the church and everything like that but it's just it's so sweet and at the same time it's there, there's an undercurrent that you kind of sat there going oh i didn't see this one coming and there is murder and there is mystery and there is intrigue and there is ghost stories and myths and legends and it just fits so well and honestly in regards to this i would recommend anybody sort of like if you can find yourself i think there's a sequel which i've never read didn't even you know it's only when i was sort of like looking to do this episode that someone was like oh did you know uh, i think it was michael actually said to me that there's a that there's a second one so i might see if i can get the second one and, and give that one a read as well because i you know i love the first one so much and it just it does end well though like it does it, this is why i never thought that there'd be a second one because it does end and that's always a big thing for me with books is even if they're, they're one in a series like at the moment i'm reading uh, a book that's like the tenth in the series um 
and I'm, unfortunately with this one with, with the one that I'm reading at the moment you've got to have read the previous ones because it's alluding to a lot a lot of the stuff that it's alluding to I'm guessing has happened in previous books but I love how books kind of like have their own story and even though they have characters and stuff they can end and this is what I love about this one is, is, you know, I've had this book for years. I've read this book for years. So if it does have a sequel, I'm definitely going to go out and, and buy it and read it. Um, but you don't need to. You can just read this one book and go, I'm happy. I'm done. It's a nice conclusion to the story. So, I mean, this book, this book definitely gets four out of five for me. It is so easy to read. Can't put it down. And honestly, I just love it. And to be perfectly honest read this book and if you can ever get to Whitby travel to Whitby it is honestly such a beautiful place like it's honestly it's just it's just perfection um but anyway so that is my you know that is my opinion um if you have read this book um if you're going to read this book based on the um recommendation please leave it below in the comments when you've read it and let me know how it goes uh, obviously this is um if you just click subscribe uh, and like and then you'll be alerted whenever a new video comes out but thank you so much for the continued support and remember to always keep it contento.